Okay guys, so now that we are able to make our users register on our site and make them log in. So here in this video, let's see one more thing of the login aspect. So it is for a reason that I am showing you this login uh, flow here. So if we suppose login with this user here, that is John Doe at gmail.com and here we provide in the password. So we see that we are taking to the profile page here. So now let's go back to our application once. And why we are taken back to the profile page? It is because inside our authrow.js file, so let's go to our authrow.js. So here we see that whenever a user logs in, so we see that this is the login post route. So whenever a user logs in, we are redirecting him back to the user forward slash profile page. So now instead of redirecting him back to the user slash profile page, let me redirect him back to the home page. So let me save this. And now if we go back to our application and now let's log out from here and now let's try to log in again. So John do at gmail.com and password one two. we see that we are taking back to the index page here. That is only the forward slash. So this is what we currently have. So now suppose if we log out here, the user is logged out now. So what if he saved this page that is forward slash user forward slash profile as a bookmark. And if it tries to go to this page, then what will happen? It will take us to the login page. That is fine. So let's press this and we are back, back at the login page. And now if he signs in, that is if he logs in. So John Doe at gmail.com password one two. And watch what happens now. So if we press login, we are taken back to the home page and not to the profile page that was requested inside the this address bar here. So in this video, let's see that how do we do this? That is take the user back to the exact route which he requested for after login. So for this thing, we will be using this package that is connect ensure login. So let's go back to our application. Let's stop the application and here let me clear out the console and let me install this package that is connect ensure login. So now let it uh, install and it will take a moment here. And now let me simply start my application by doing npm run dev so that we do not have to worry about starting our application. So now let me minimize this terminal here. So now here instead of this property that is success redirect, what we can provide here, we can provide here another property that is called success return to or redirect. So success return to, uh, I don't know why it is not auto completing. So return to or redirect like this and here we can simply say forward slash that is the index page. So let me save this application here. Let's go to our app.js file and here where we are using this thing here that is ensure authenticated middleware here. Instead of this uh, middleware, we'll use the connect ensure package. So let me require it here at the very top that is const connect ensure equal to require connect ensure login like this or let it be connect ensure login itself. So it makes more sense. So now let me copy this and now instead of providing this middleware that is ensure authenticated, we'll be using this thing here that is connect ensure login and we'll say connect ensure login dot ensure logged in like this. And if he's not logged in, then where do we want to take him back? We want to take him back to the login page. So we can say here that is return to and return to would be forward slash auth forward slash login like this. And now we do not need this middleware. That is that is the middleware we created that is ensure authenticated. So now let me comment this thing out from here. In case you want to use this, you can use this also, but I'm more inclined towards using this package here because it gives us more flexibility. So now let me save this thing from here. And now this is a middleware here and here why we need to provide this property here that is returned to and it is simply because to take the user back to the login page and you don't even have to provide this property in case your login page is only forward slash login then you do not need to provide this return to path here and there should be redirect to not return to. So let me correct it. So redirect to like this. So now let me save this. So now let's go back to our application and here we are on the login page. So we see, so we know that we are logged out. So now let's go to this user profile page. So user forward slash profile. And we know that we should be redirected back to this login page. And that is the case here. 
and now if we log in here that is john do at gmail.com and password one two so if we click on login watch what happens we are taken back to the profile page and not to the home page so we see here inside our autroute.js that is if there is a return to path in saved inside our session that is done by the connect ensure middleware then we would be taken to that path otherwise we would be taken to the home route here that is the index route so this is how you redirect users back to the page which was requested and now here one more thing what we can do instead of using this middleware here that is ensure not authenticated ensure not authenticated instead of using this function that is ensure authenticated or ensure not authenticated we can use the connect ensure login middleware so we can require it here in each and every file that is connect ensure equal to require connect ensure login like this and now to render the login page we should not be authenticated so we can use this package that is connect ensure dot ensure logged out that is the user should be logged out and in case if he is not then we can redirect him back to somewhere so redirect to and here we can simply pass in the path where he should be redirected back so let's save this and similarly for this thing here that is forward slash login we can paste it here like this and similarly here we can paste it like this and in similarly in the post route we can paste it and now for the logout route we should be authenticated so we can say connect ensure dot ensure authenticated or ensure logged in and here we can provide in the pass that is redirect to that is if he is logged out then where he should be redirected back so he should be redirected back to the home page like this and now let's save this and now we can remove these two functions from from here or let's keep them here itself and now let's save this file and now everything would work as it was before so let's check it so now let's go log out the application and now let's try to go to the forward slash user forward slash profile page like this and here we are in the login page so john do at gmail.com password one two we are back to the profile page and now if we are on the home page and let's log out we are on the home page itself so now let's click on login and if we do john do at gmail.com and here password one two we are taken back to the home page so now let's try to go to the login page here that is auth forward slash register or auth login so we see that if we are again redirected back to the home page and if we try to go to the register page then we are again redirected back to the home page itself so now we know that our routes are authorized and protected by using this connect ensure middleware and it is a great middleware to use instead of using these two functions that we just created here so guys that's all about this video and that's all about this passport js local authentication in case you want to only learn about passport js local authentication and from the next video onwards we'll be adding role based access control inside this application itself so let's see that how do we do that in the very next video